Hello, Aquarius souls. Welcome to your reading. I am so grateful that you are here. My name is Nikki, and I use my clairaudient and channeling abilities to help people find the magic within. If you're new here, welcome. I'm excited and honored to be doing this reading for you today. I channel messages from creative expression such as movies, books, and music. And for this series, I will be channeling messages from horror manga books written by Junji Ito. I felt called to do this series because there's a lot of energy in the collective right now for light workers to get out of hermit mode. And this is bringing up a lot of anxiety and also some shadow aspects. So I felt called to do this series to bring some messages through to help you navigate those energies that you may be experiencing. So I checked out five different horror manga books and they are the following. First we have Smashed. Ramina. Deserter. Shiver. And Frankenstein. How this reading will work, I have a tiny decisions wheel on my phone. I will spin the wheel, see which horror manga book has a message for you. I will go to a random page, see what your message is, and then I will do an intuitive card reading to get some additional messages. So let's see which horror manga book has a message for you, Aquarius. I will pull that on my phone here. We have Frankenstein. That is this book right here. Let's see which page your message is on. I'm being drawn to this one quote bubble at the top here, Aquarius. It says, I see turning back is one way, but I must go forward. I see turning back is one way, but I must go forward. So what I'm already hearing very loud and clear is that Turning back is not an option, Aquarius. The only way for you to go is forward with whatever you're experiencing right now. But let's get some additional messages from the cards. The first deck that I am using is the Lightseer Tarot. Thank you, Spirit. What are your additional messages from my Aquarius souls? We have the Magician. Next, we're going to pull a card from the Keepers of Light deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else? Oh, this one flew right out of the deck here. We have Joan of Arc, Voice of Truth. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. <laughs> Next we have the Work Your Light deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else? Leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. Your final card will come from the Universe Has Your Back deck. Thank you, Spirit. What are your final messages from my Aquarius souls? I am a spirit having a human experience, and I'm here to get closer to love.
Yeah, I'm very strongly picking up on spiritual awakening vibes. And I'm also picking up on some of you have been on this journey for a little while, but now you're at this point, like I'm being drawn to the leap card here. You're at this point, like right at the cliff where it's like, um, okay, I'm kind of feeling a little fear here. I'm not sure if I want to take this leap, but this, but the universe is saying you go first. I will catch you. You are good. Okay. You're protected. There's surrender and trust that the universe is asking you to have right now with something and that's interesting because your your message said um i must move forward so see this is her on the card here literally moving forward taking that leap so leaping forward into the unknown and letting go surrendering your worries knowing that you are held there's also something here about moving forward in terms of speaking up about something. Voice of truth with Joan of Arc. Stand strong, spirit says. Focus on your purpose. Because if you focus on your purpose, you remember your why. And that helps you move forward with more courage, more grace, and more ease. That does not mean you're not going to have challenges. There will be challenges. But remembering your why, focusing on your purpose is what will help you move forward, Aquarius. Release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. So for some of you, this leap of faith is letting go of the fear of being persecuted for speaking up about something. What is the truth that you need to share in the world? It is very, very important because when you speak your truth, it helps other people on an energetic level. It activates something within people who are meant to hear what you have to say, and it gives them permission to speak their truth. They will see you do it, and it will be less fearful for them because they see somebody being bold and taking that, that leap of faith with that. Okay, so whatever you need to speak up about, it's time to do that. All right, let go of the fear of persecution because with the magician, you are a powerful, powerful manifester, Aquarius. You can create whatever you want to create, and all of us light workers, we are here to create a world of unconditional love. And this is remembering your magician powers when it comes to that. Because I'm also being drawn to, I am a spirit having a human experience, and I'm here to get closer to love. So you are. The, the efforts that you have put in already, they have already begun to create a ripple effect. I'm being drawn to the ripples that are being um, created in the water here on this card. The magic that you have been working in your life, it's creating ripple effects for people. It's creating massive healing, massive change. And when you stay strong in that power, it's only going to get more widespread and even more powerful. So have faith that what you are doing is creating healing. Have faith that what you are doing is bringing about change. Have faith that you speaking your truth is leading to a world where it is safe for us to love each other unconditionally. We're all here to get closer to love. But the energy that I'm feeling here right now is you are one of the way showers to help other people get closer to love because you yourself are getting closer to love, all right? So very powerful manifestation energy coming in. And what I'm hearing very loud and clear with that is my manifestations are powered by service and love. And when you take that perspective, your manifestations have an even greater ripple effect because they are being created in order to be of service to other people, to add value to other people. It's very, very beautiful. 
So I'd like to open up my Claire audience and see what else I can hear that will help my Aquariuses move forward. Thank you. I don't know if you've seen that movie Labyrinth, but I'm being shown the scene in that movie where Sarah is walking in this tunnel and all of these stone statues that are carved in the wall, they are yelling at her and they're saying, this is not the way, turn back now, beware, beware. So <laughs> she just kept going through the tunnel though. She didn't listen to what the stone walls were saying to her. So I feel like there's someone around you for some of you that is telling you not to take this leap of faith. Somebody that's in your ear saying, beware, you have so much to be afraid of. You can't talk up, you can't speak up about that stuff. Do you know what will happen if you do that? And it's kind of like getting embedded in your in your mind here is what I'm seeing for some of you. Because that's what I'm being shown from that movie where the stone walls are trying to prevent her from moving forward. Don't let anyone prevent you from moving forward. Because in that film, she didn't. She just kept walking. She was just like looking at them like, what are they saying? You know, and she just kept walking through. Keep walking through. Like kind of tune out the fearful narratives that other people may be projecting at you as you move forward on your journey. Okay. What else, Spirit? Thank you. I'm also being shown something about dancing. I'm being shown scenes from the movie Footloose where they're all dancing in the gymnasium. There's something like a big celebration or something is coming for you. Something where a lot of people will dance. And when people congregate together and they dance, it emits a very high vibration because people are in their joyful essence when they're dancing. So for some of you, there's a big celebration coming. Um, and I feel it will come after this leap or after you speak up about something. And it's, I feel that it's very soon. What else, Spirit? Thank you. I'm also being shown Roger Rabbit. There's a lot of movies uh, downloads coming through your reading, Aquarius. I'm being shown Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit, he, I'm being shown like how scared he is to do anything. And he's always like hiding behind stuff or like just freaking out and just very like anxious is the energy that I'm I'm picking up about something right now. And rabbits in general, the animal, they are a very fearful animal. Um, every time I go out to my yard, if I see a rabbit in my yard, it always runs away. Um, or even like as you walk closer to it, it runs away. And I know most animals do that, but rabbits um, do it very frequently. So there's something here about really honing in on your fears and letting them go. Um, specifically, the fear of persecution, of what other people think, of what other people are going to say um, if you do what it is you're here to do, okay? Any final messages for my Aquarius souls? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, 
they're saying when you move forward, just maintain that laser-like focus on your purpose, on your why. That is like the biggest message coming through. Focusing on your purpose, focusing on your why is what is going to help you move forward, take leaps of faith, and remember why you're doing what you're doing, okay? So the main purpose for what you're doing is to get closer to love and to help create a world where it is safe for us to love each other, Aquarius. So it's remembering how powerful you are with your manifesting abilities, just like the magician who creates those ripple effects in the world of positive change. That is all that I am seeing. Those are your messages. If your reading resonated, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. I am excited and honored to have done this reading for you today. If you liked any of the decks of cards I used, I'm linking those in the description box down below as well. I also do a podcast called the Slumber Party Massacre Podcast with four amazing women, my sister Lacey, Rebecca, Carly, and Heather. We talk about horror movies, we debate them, we play games, we're very real, very authentic, we don't sweep anything under the rug. If that is something that you are interested in, I am linking that in the description box down below as well. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you on the next video. Bye!